Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoult Alignment year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we need to solve the given system of equations by matrix inversion method. Pretty simple one if you will see. Fine. Let's see. 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 So, the given equations are these. So, fine. In the matrices chapter, we will write the matrix form in the matrix form. Let's write the given system of equations in matrix form. So, what I get is this. Here you see x coefficient is 1. So, 1. Here y coefficient is minus 1. And z coefficient is 3. Okay. Next, 4, 2, minus 1 and 1, 3, 1. Okay. And into x, y, z, you will get this. You can just cross check. See if you will row by column 1 into x minus 1 into y plus 3 into z equal to 5 okay so you will get your equations back again if you will do like this so you can write the given system of equations like this one right? so take the first matrix this matrix take it as uh, this matrix take it as uh, a this one take it as capital x and this one take it as capital d right? So this you will get this. So uh, my equation will be a into x equal to d. I hope it makes sense up till now. Fine. Chalo. Now with this done, with this done. Before we use matrix inversion method, we have to check whether we can actually use matrix inversion method or not. To know whether we can apply matrix inversion method or not, we have to find out that a. If that a is not equal to 0, then we can solve the given system of equations by matrix inversion method. If delta is equal to 0, then we cannot do so. Now, delta means de de determinant of this. Okay. I'm sure you already know how to find out determinant, but still, I'll just give you a quick summary. See, uh, Basically, I'm going to find out uh, determinant along row 1, okay, R1. Fine, so 1 and 2. Uh, strike off the row and column in which 1 is there. That means. So 1 into debt of 2 minus 1, 3, 1. Like that. Minus in between minus will come. Minus second element is minus 1. Let me remove it. Second element is minus 1. Okay. Fine. Minus. Minus 1 into strike off the row and column in which minus 1 is there. Debt of 4 minus 1, 1, 1. Okay. And next, that's what you have. And plus 3 into plus 3 into debt of uh, strike of the row and column in which 3 is there. Debt of 4, 2, 1, 3. I hope it makes sense. Now, this 2 by 2 pro debt is 2 into 1 minus 3 into minus 1. That means 2 minus of minus 3. Minus of minus is plus 1 into 4 minus of minus 1 plus 3 into 12 minus 2. 4 3s are 12 minus 1 into 2 is 2. Now if you simplify it 1 into 2 plus 3 plus 4 into plus 1 into 4 plus 1 plus 3 into 10. Fine, this is what I would get. Okay, now next. 1 into 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 1 into 5 is 5 and 1 into 4 plus 1 is 5. So and 3 tens are 30. So this is 40. If you'll observe, if you'll observe here, debt A is not equal to 0. Since debt A is not equal to 0, we can solve the given system of equations by matrix inversion method. Right? Okay, just one minute we can do a little time pass. You guys want to chill out, whereas your parents want you to study. Now these two are in two opposite directions. Now how to manage? See, it's very simple. See, talk to your parents that every day, please allow me to play for one hour. Uh, two hours I'll study. Like make a deal like that, something like that. You know, So that your parents also will be happy and you also will be happy. Hmm? Fine. Because uh, they say, right, uh, that quotation, not able to recollect it. All, all study and no play makes uh, something, you know, there was a quote. Basically, some amount of, you know, play should be there in which you move around, walk a little, you know. Fine. Now, let's come back to our question. Now, in matrix inversion method, we have to find out something known as cofactors, okay, for the 
A matrix A. We'll find out cofactors. Now, what is this cofactor? You'll understand how I'm going to find it. See, cofactor matrix. I'm going to construct cofactor matrix by using cofactors. Now, how to find out cofactor? See, cofactor of one. To get the cofactor of one, now listen carefully. Listen carefully. To get the cofactor of one, one. One is in first row, first column. One is in first row, first column. So this one's position is one one. This one's position is one one. So position will be represented by i j. Okay, i j. So i is one and j is one. i is one, j is one. So minus one. So cofactor means what you'll get is actually minus one power i plus j into debt of what debt of the remaining elements after you strike off the row and column in which it is there. Like this and this if you'll strike off, you'll get two minus one three one. Minus one power i plus j means one one. So minus one power one plus one into debt of two minus one three one. Okay. Now now after this after this what I get is minus one power one plus one is minus one power two into two two into one is two. Minus three into minus one is minus three. So two minus of minus three. Minus one to the power even number will be plus one. Okay. Minus one to the power even number is going to be plus one. Minus one to the power odd number is going to be minus one. Okay. Hmm. So with that, on that note, on that note. So what I'd get is two minus. Uh, this will be one. So you can ignore it. Two minus of minus three. It's going to be two plus three, which is nothing but Five. So that is cofactor of one. Now this minus one. What is the position of minus one? Minus one is in. So you see row one, row two, row three, column one, column two, column three. So minus one is in row one, column two, row one, column two. So this one's position is. This one's position is one two. This one's position is one two. I'll write it a bit better. Yeah. This one's position is one two. That means I'll get minus one to the power one plus two here. Cofactor of minus one will be minus one to the power one plus two because its position is one two, and strike off the row and column in which minus one is there. Debt of four minus one one one, right? Minus one to the power three into four minus of minus one like this. It goes on and on. Okay, four into one minus one into minus one. I'll go a little fast because now you understood the method. But somewhere when it is critical, I'll go a little slow. So minus one to the power odd number. I already told you minus one to the power odd number will give you. Hmm, it will give you minus one. So minus one cube is nothing but minus one. Four minus of minus one. Four plus one it will become. Okay, minus into minus is plus. Minus of minus is plus. Okay, so four plus one which is five. So minus one into five is minus five. Now next for three. Three is in first row, third column. First row, third column. So minus one to the power one plus three. Into debt of strike of the row and column in which three is a four two one three. So twelve minus two. Ten minus one power even number. Now cofactor of four. For four, now be a little careful. Four is in second row, first column. So two one minus one power two plus one. Debt of what? Debt of what? Strike of the row and column in which four is there. Minus one three three one. Minus one minus three into three is. Minus one into one is minus one. Minus three into three is nine. Minus one minus nine. Minus one to the power three is minus one. Two minus ten. So it is plus ten. Fine. Now cofactor of this two. This two. Be careful, guys. This is where some of you make mistakes. So stay a little alert. Strike off the row and column in which two is there. First of all, what is the position of two? Two is in second row, second column. So two two minus one power two plus two into debt of one three one one. One into one is one minus one into three is three. So one minus three is minus two. Minus one to the power even number is plus one. Fine. Now next, I'm done with five. Okay, five elements I'm done. Next four elements I'll show you in the next slide. And I'm writing the same matrix A again. You need not have to write it. Now cofactor of minus one. For cofactor of minus one, minus one is in minus one is in second row, third column. Second row, third column. So minus one to the power two plus three into strike off the row and column in which minus one is there. Debt of one minus one one three. One three is a three minus one into minus one is minus one. Three minus minus one. Minus one to the power odd number I am getting. Hmm. So 
I'm going to get a minus 1, minus 1 into 3, minus of minus 1 is 3 plus 1, which is 4. So minus 1 into 4 is minus 4. Now let's find out the cofactor of this one at the bottom. Uh, let me erase this. Cofactor of 1. 1 is in third row. Third row, first column. Third row, first column. So minus 1 to the power 3 plus 1 into debt of strike of the row and column in which 1 is there and debt of minus 1, 3, 2, minus 1. Okay. Hope it makes a little sense. Fine. Now, minus 1 into minus 1 is 1. Minus 2 into 3, 6. 1 minus 6. Minus 1 to the power even number, it's plus 1. So, 1 minus 6 is 1 into minus 5. So, minus 5. Now, next cofactor of 3. For cofactor of 3, so, 3 is in third row, second column. Third row, second column. So, what I get is minus 1 power 3 plus 2. 3 is in third row, second column. So, 3 plus 2. And strike off the row and column in which 3 is there. Debt of 1, 3, 4, minus 1. Be careful, guys. This is where generally you make mistakes. Okay. Now, debt of 1, 3, 4, minus 1. And on this note, what I'd get is, on this note, what I'd get is, 1 into minus 1 is minus 1, minus 4, 3 is at 12. So, minus 1, minus 2. Minus 1 to the power 5. It's an odd number. So, I'll get minus 1. Minus 1, minus 12 is minus 13. Minus 1 into minus 13 is plus 13. Done. Now, now cofactor of 1. Cofactor of 1. For cofactor of 1, cofactor of 1. For cofactor of 1, uh, this one last. Strike off the row and column in which 1 is there. And you would get minus 1 to the power. 1's position is 3, 3. Okay, third row, third column. Minus 1 to the power 3 plus 3. Get off 1 minus 1, 4, 2. So 2, 1s are 2 minus 4 and 2 minus 1. 2 minus of minus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. Minus 1 power even number. It's 1. So 1 into 6 is 6. Now, cofactor matrix. Cofactor matrix, how you will get all this? You know? 5 minus 5, 10. 10 minus 2, minus 4. And minus 5, 13, 6. Just write them. 5 minus 5, 10. 10 minus 2, minus 4. Minus 5, 13, 6. Now, cofactor matrix is done. Okay. Question in Kaipole and question Kavalo. Turn up. Cast a Jagrata going and listen carefully. Hmm? Now, after this, I need to find out something known as adjoint A. Okay, adjoint A is nothing but transpose of the cofactor matrix. In the question, the thing is transpose the other one. Transpose and then the column is another row. 5, 10, minus 5. Minus 5, minus 2, 13. 10, minus 4, 6. Mm -hmm. I hope it's done. Now, next. Next. A inverse is nothing but matrix inversion method and inverse. We are definitely. So, A inverse and 1 by adjoint A by delta A, which means 1, which means 1 by delta A into adjoint A. Delta A is, if you remember some slides back I taught you, I mean in the beginning we found out delta A that we got it as 40. So, 1 by 40 into adjoint A is this matrix. Write it as it is. Okay, we are coming to the end. Stay tuned, stay tuned, come on. Since Ax equal to D, in, if you remember in the beginning when I wrote my equations in matrix form, I got this Ax equal to D. So, X will be A inverse D. X will be A inverse D. Remember this. So, x is nothing but a inverse into d. a inverse, we know this. 1 by 40 into this matrix into d. d is 505. d is 505. You can refer to the first slide. You can go a bit back. d is 505. Now, multiply. If you will multiply, row by column. Okay. Keep 1 by 40 as it is. 5 into 5 plus 10 into 0 minus 5 into 5. 5 into 5 plus 10 into 0. See, guys. See. I don't know if you know this. This first one, first matrix is a 3 by 3. Second matrix is 3 by 1. It has 3 rows and 1 column. So, my final matrix order is going to be 3 cross 1. Okay, it's going to be 3 cross 1. Fine. So, that's what I'm going to get right. See, 5 into 5 plus 10 into 0 minus 5 into 5. And minus 5 into 5 minus 2 into 0 plus 13 into 5. And 10 into 5 plus minus 4 into 0 plus 6 into 5. Now, if you'll simplify this, 1 by 14 into 25 plus 0 minus 25. Like that, minus 25 plus 0 plus 65, 50 plus 0 plus 
30 25 minus 25 is 0 65 minus 25 is 40 and 30 plus 50 is 80 now 1 by 40 break, take it inside 0 by 40 40 by 40 80 by 40 so 0 1 2 therefore x equal to 0 y equal to 1 and z equal to 2 is a system is a solution of the given system of equations fine thank you very much for staying with me up till now in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it thank you